Okay, just going to give you a quick tour and an update for the base build. As I was um, tunneling my way through, uh, well, tunneling underground, I actually um, had a little bit of a problem. I used a little bit too much TNT and the, um, the ground collapsed. <laughs> so I'm going to go down and show you what I've been up to. I literally just put this wall around here as a perimeter so you could uh, just keep the fucking vermin out. So anyway, this was the the whole hole that I ended up with. So I built myself a little walkway to get down, uh, and I've just cleared this of John. Let's just run around and it's going to quick to water base. So let's just give you a quick little walk around. So right, this is the hole. This is the stop. So literally, I think I'm going to have like a middle earth sort of style bridge going across the middle earth. Uh, yes, didn't mean to do that. As you can see, it's quite deep. <laughs> Ouch. That was lucky. That didn't kill me. There's literally like one health point left. But anyway, so let's run back up here. The plan is going to be literally to have like a bridge going right the way across there. A couple of structural supports, but I want it kind of like the Middle Earth style, like when the Borog comes crashing out. It doesn't look too Middle Earthy with reinforced concrete, but yeah, it's, it's a nice, I like working with that. So let's get back up here and carry it on. Okay, so this is like entrance to the tunnel, this is like the start of it. I'm going to go over there. So you've got, these are the catacombs, so we're going to go to, I'll show you the left hand path first. This is not the main base, but this is going to be sort of like another way out. But of course, I'm going to try and make it like a grand sort of side entrance. Again, we're above ground now. This is just so uh, you can keep the zombies out. Okay, I reckon I'm going to put like, sort of like a gateway here. Some, some nice sort of columns going up. You can see sort of the main base being built in on over there. Now this is joined, and when I was building it, the zombies dug through a massive hole in the ground to get me. That's literally where we've just come from and the tunnel we go from here over to that and then it, the tunnel literally runs back to the main base so i'll show you, go back over there let's go that's a bit of turbo speedy mushroom oh i don't know it's stuck in the ceiling again oh, here we go it seems to be since they did the smoothing effect you do get stuck now and then They've sort of made it a bit nicer for the caves. Now, there shouldn't be any zombies in here because we've cleared it literally a few minutes ago. Again, okay, so we're getting here. So, again, this is coming out the exit. So, this is the main way in. So, I kind of want like a grand sort of entrance. So, this is like going to be the entrance to like the catacombs. Some campfire, I think, has gone out on the top. Let's, let's get that started again. Looks good at night when you get this going. Let's just get some coal. pretty cool. So that's where I finished last night up here building. Probably going to knock that wall down over there, tidy this up a little bit more. Anyway, let's, um, let's get it down off of there. Tidy that up.
Okay, so I started the moat. This was a dam, but the kind of the water was going a bit funny. It wasn't sort of filling correctly. So what I probably might do is line it. We're going to try lining it with concrete, and then literally filling it that way. I just want to get it looking a bit nicer, like a proper moat. I've got a server. Um, I'm having sort of issues patching out at the minute. This is just like a private game. I sort of experimenting. Okay, so so me and John built this base up. I've just been built expanding it, so I'm gonna give you a quick tour around this. So we sort of started with typical sort of square base, dug it round, filled it for the spikes to keep the zombies out, you know, some nice sort of foundations to build on. And these sort of blocks were in to sort of break your fall as you were going down. So you can go down. Uh, you can go to the zombie killing platform. So down here you can sort of get up close and personal with the zombies. Um, bit of barbed wire to stop the spider zombies climbing up but I mean literally this had wooden spikes out about eight rows ten rows I just turn the zombies setting down just to concentrate on craft but literally they were just like throwing themselves all over it it's like literally not gonna be long before they're hacking away at the base so at some point obviously you're gonna have to go down and repair that uh, try not to get yourself stuck on barbed wire Anyway, let's go back up. Oh. Yes, let's, you know, it hurts. Let's go back up. Okay. Let's go up the first level. I'll put some glass in to be falling out the window when you get up here. I'll show you the construction over here soon. I sort of started building... I don't know, just experimenting with structures just to see sort of how high you can get and the sort of shapes that you can get out of them but it's pretty cool quite enjoying it so these is left open primarily because you know it's quite a nice little sniper platform that you can sort of come up here have you know a couple of casual few minutes you know finding some zombies to little pick at oh, that's, uh, there's a little bit of a mess down there yeah yeah about tidy now. Anyway, let's keep going up. So you see a bit better from here. So we've got the entrance to the main building there. Oh, that fire didn't light. Let's get a bit closer. Sometimes the fires don't come on unless you're a bit closer. There, there you go, it's come on now. had not that down which is now turned back up again but anyway I might build up over that and sort of cover it in I'm gonna might I'm gonna end up with like sort of columns on the corners I reckon that'll look quite cool and I'll start knocking down that building to get rid of that uh, a bit of night time coming now so plan it was sort of you go down here and uh, again and out to a platform, another platform you can get to. Again, a lot of these are designed with the wooden planks. Started designing them because literally you can break them very quickly with a pickaxe. So the idea is to sort of have like multiple sections where um, you can sort of like fall back if you get compromised. Again, there's one I'd got up here, I don't know how I'd got up here. It wasn't a spider one. I'm not sure about that. It's all whispering to me. Hello, hello. And sometimes I have to turn the sound effects off it doesn't know. I'll get rid of that. Can't really see where it would have got up, but it was like literally stood here. I logged in over there and it's like literally waving at me. It's like you cheeky Sansa. Yeah, so uh, I wanted to sort of update this and then that way I can get on and craft it without having to worry about the zombies getting in so let's give them something to wake them up shall we I like to keep the pickaxe and the wooden blocks handy because if you do fall off it's very useful to be able to get up quickly alright so let's take the corner of that out Stick some TNT around the base and all of these tomorrow. 
Now my rule of physics, that should fall down by now. That is attached to the corner of my building, so I don't want to blow it up too much and then I'm going to have a major infestation of zombies. So I'll tell you what, I might leave that alone, because otherwise it might happen what I ended up over there. Which was, I was tunnelling underground, using lots of TNT and all of a sudden the whole world collapsed. <laughs> so it was pretty good. So, let's, um, I'm going to climb up here and just do a bit more rocket launcher. Now you have to be careful close to these walls because I have obviously blown myself up quite a few number of times. Oh, the moon's going down. Let's, uh, let's say the zombies are on low anyway, so I'm not really too worried. So I've got a platform down here to stand on. Put it in. Let's have a look. Let's stop blowing it up. Now wait till the morning and I'm going to start putting some TNT down there. Well, this is sort of, this is, this is a weak in it. And the zombies should be attracted to the noise so we should see a few more in over there in a minute then we can fill them up. Hopefully it's not the tire I'm on. Now why did that do that? Because it almost sounded like it was with me. It made me jump, that literally made me jump then. Oh, oh, we've got a hornet up here, so let's just deal with that a minute. things, especially when I'm stood up here, I'm going to literally fall off. I've obviously changed from the rocket launcher because no my luck, like, this thing's going to fly in front of me when I fire it. Gonna run, fly towards me now. It's heard me. Come on, you stupid bee. Can hear the damn thing. It's like a mosquito. You can hear the damn thing, but you can't. can't see it. Anyway, let's just carry on. In, in my ears. Oh, that's good. It's offending me. Aesthetically, it was in the way. Hey, come on, you need to fall over now. So, I mean, the screen shut then. That's just like, that's just like, rude. <laughs> I look at them all. They love it. Hello. Oh, that was lucky for them, wasn't it? Where is this damn thing? Buzz it around my head. Oh, I'll see you. Come on, where are you? How do you eat these things? Well, at least I know they're now attacking my tower because they know I'm here. <laughs> well, let's just get the stand back up again. Come on, 
Go that guy. Okay, soon or later. Let me really jump that time. You see these things knocking themselves out. Yeah, you carry on running through there. Nice. A little bit tidying up in the morning. Now John very kindly put some perimeter defences. So that should get them running towards it. Oh, they're up on there, look. Extremely irritating. Oh, it's having a little swim. Oh, we don't want that one, Stuart. Uh, we want to make sure we're not too close to the edge. And as you saw earlier, I did fall off. in there. No more. There we go, look. Hello. Now John did put a load of landmines down here, so let's see if he crawls on one. I think most of them have blown up now. Hello. It's just sound effects, it's amazing. There's loads over here, they need to go. Ooh, that was close, notes. I know they're not in there yet, but it always makes you wonder. I don't know if they're going to get up here. Oh yeah, yeah. How did they get up on there? It's interesting. Oh, the water seems to have moved. <laughs> okay, that flipping another bee somewhere. That noise kind of thing. Yes. Oh, hello, down there. He's stuck and he can't swim. Find this other bloody on it. I mean, they're usually, usually quite a long way away, but they sound close. All of a sudden, they just come in your face, literally right there. It'd 
be easier. Let's just go down to the platform. I'll leave that one there because that's a quick way of. No, I won't. Let's just go down to the platform. Let's see what mess they've made down here. Up here, no varmints up here. Oh, that one's still down there. It's pretty harmless, but it irritates me. Let's go away. There's some sort of breakdown down there. to make it more difficult moving target. What if they've got in my base? That's quite irritating. Well, it seems to have quieted down a bit now. Let's see what's going on over there in a minute. Uh, let's think over this side. The structure seems okay. We're going to obviously build over to other structures because I like to be able to get from one side to the other, all around your base and that, especially to keep the zombies out as well. I find this damn wasp in it. Yeah, well, although they're not going to get up here, they're going to start making a mess of my tower soon. Can't go around any further. Oh yeah, it's made a mess. I'm very interesting in how they got up there. So in the sort of one, two, three, four, five high. Moon's <laughs> going down. The sun's coming up. Oh, there's a window stuck in the sky. This is kind of the update for now. Uh, daytime's coming. I'm going to start obviously adding more and more. The plan is what I want to start doing is um, putting big metal gates and some of these doors and I'm going to have zones where you can let the zombies in. So basically what I want to do is start flooding zones like this with zombies where you go down with your friends and basically you've got to start clearing it. It's almost like a killing house. So they've really made a mess of themselves. Silly goodies. Oh, yeah, it's quite a bit of a mess. Uh, probably those wooden spots are very effective. Obviously the spider zombies have been getting up, so really you could do a lip coming out around the side, but I don't know how much more time I'm going to spend on this saving because literally I'm going to have to start recreating this on another server. I was just sort of getting ideas, structural ideas, and then you kind of get a little, you do tend to get a little bit carried away, or I do. You know. So it's quite cool. Let's just start thinking about what I'm going to do. That's quite irritating. But we are alpha. Uh, it's, I'm very impressed with this game so far. Right, let's just go down. I want to kind of like something here. Yeah, let's put something here. Hmm. 
Nice shrubbery. Plains of tall grass. It's not really like... I want it sort of like a dungeon feel. I do think that's going to do. Oh, snowy dead bush. Right, might look a little bit out of place. Oh, so let's put some doors on there actually. Door hard at all. So I'm gonna play with some doors and stuff. So I'm gonna put that rocket launcher away now because that gets me in trouble. Um, don't really want fires down there, let's want something else, want something better than that. So there's some paintings on the wall. That would look quite nice, wouldn't it? Garbage, I don't want garbage down here. Pimp gift. Oh, okay. mm, the toilets. Yeah, the toilet would do, wouldn't it? Fancy toilet. Commercial. It's just a little waste of sight. Yeah. Kind of like the throne room. <laughs> Entrance to the throne room. Like <laughs> a <the> giant toilet. <laughs> to come out you can't really see can't really see that I'm going to see so when you come back yeah you can see the archway but let's take that one out Back with the next vid. Alright. Cheers, peeps. Bye.